police body cams have become really an essential tool for police officers, but they don't always record when they need to. Some new technology, though, is changing that. Our Jeff Paul in Grand Prairie to see how this works, and it is new for you here at 10 o'clock. Big fans of it. Man. A body camera can sometimes be easily forgotten. The car just keeps getting fuller and fuller. The end, Laptops, uh, lights, and equipment belt. The, not to mention the actual call in progress. Police officers have a lot yeah, going on. The officer's attention is divided now more than it has ever been before. But now hitting record could be one less action they need to remember. That split second of time uh, could mean the difference between a positive and a negative outcome. Grand Prairie Police Assistant Chief Ronnie Morris says his department is now using automatically triggered body cameras. They activate it. If they turn on their taser, flip their emergency lights on, or exceed 85 miles per hour, their body camera starts rolling. In a few weeks, their body cameras will also activate each time they unholster their gun. Officers, whenever they in encounter a, a dynamic situation that is dangerous to the public, to them, to a third person, they, the last thing they need to be thinking about is, I need to turn my camera on. The body cameras not only have automatic triggers for recording, but they also capture what happened 30 seconds prior to the camera being activated. It's always great for transparency. Sharing more information, more is always better than less. Grand Prairie is one of at least eight cities in the Metroplex that have or are in the process of getting some sort of automatically triggered body camera. Morse believes as time goes on, that number will only grow. If it's something that law enforcement can show what we do and we can be more transparent and we can help uh, to improve public trust across the country, then it's a win. In Grand Prairie, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.